Hello, welcome to Healing Hands Row, and this is another timeless zodiac reading. Um, so you all know I like to like jump right in. Um, I don't like to waste any time, so let's get this rolling. All right. Okay, so let's figure out what the central theme for this reading will be. Um, just making sure that they're all upright, or at least some of them are. Okay, we have two flippers. Okay. So we do have the king of pentacles in reverse, as well as temperance. Right? As the central theme. This is interesting. Okay? All right, because it looks like there's some balancing that is taking place or needs to take place. And King of Pentacles in the upright, usually a very stable offer, right? Like, is usually a very generous person, um, very stable and reliable. But when it's in the reverse, it's unreliable. So you might be dealing with that kind of energy in your environment um, where you're dealing with some kind of unreliability on the part of somebody. Um, but you're being asked to, ba you know, to remain balanced in this situation. All right. Let's see what else. Spirit, what else do we need to know regarding this situation? Okay. more information okay I'm gonna put this here and do this in uh, okay so I'm gonna pull you do have the king of wands all right so the king of wands is a very outgoing outspoken um, energy So this is somebody who is in control of like their um, creative um, creativity. They are in control of things happening around them. This person is a social butterfly. Okay. This person attracts a lot of people around their circle. All right, but there's an energy of lack of generosity on this side. Um, and then there's this um, King of Wands, which is a leadership, um, you know, card. Okay, so let's keep going. As the story keeps unfolding, we'll get more clarity. All right, so let me just pick one. I do have Page of Cups, which speaks of friendship in reverse. So... And this is what is crowning this whole reading. Okay? So the way I'm looking at it, this is the past, the future, what's crowning you, and what's below, which is the Eight of Swords in reverse. So in the upright, Eight of Swords is restriction. So it looks like some restrictions have been, you know, like up uplifted or removed, some kind of blockage. Has been removed there's some kind of um balancing that has occurred for somebody that has you know like kind of been able to help end some friendships or a friendship a particular relationship it could be even be a work relationship but it looks like it's ended because the page of cups is in reverse right whatever this is it's ended okay and somebody is moving into a leadership position with the ending of this um, page of cups, with the ending of whatever this is, all right? Uh, but whatever this is in the past, looks like you were a little balanced, and then in the future, you're looking like you're out of balance, and there's lack of generosity, so there might be a feeling of lack. You know, so I need to figure out what that means. So the Eight of Swords restriction being lifted now means that somebody is no longer feeling... They are bound to something. 
somebody feels a sense of freedom, liberation. Okay. All right, let me use another deck to clarify. Okay, so let's shuffle a little bit. The cards be jumping and flying all over the place, so I need to like calm the energy down. Okay, especially when they have a lot to say. All right, spirit, can you please help clarify temperance? The Joker. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, so temperance is clarified with the Joker card. It says conscience. So. Somebody might have been, oh, it says consciousness and conscience. So somebody in the past looked like they were in a very balanced state, emotionally, physically, financially, even in their spiritual life. But it looks like in the future, let me see, what does this King of Pentacles mean? Okay. The King of Pentacles is clarified with the Queen of Love. This is a nurturing energy. This is a, a, a motherly person, somebody who is very caring and loving. So I'm not sure like the Queen of Love and generosity. And that's you being stingy with your love, right? So it looks like there's something that happened in the past that you thought was imbalance you thought was the way it was supposed to be you thought was what you were supposed to be doing you thought this was the right direction for you right but it looks like something came in and happened so what is the page of cups Spirit, please clarify the page of cups so we can get some kind of rhythm for this reading so page of cups is clarified by family all right Let's clarify King of Wands. Okay. King of Wands is clarified by fate, destiny. Okay. And Eight of Swords is clarified by instinct. This is weird. During my pre shuffle, this card and this came out. And the message didn't really come out clear. I was in, struggling a little bit with the message and trying to understand what... And I know that message was for somebody, but it's kind of interesting that it came out again. So anyway, so in the past, it looks like there's, there was peace, there was calm, there was, you know, um, equal give and take in whatever this situation is. It may be like a work situation. It may be a um, relationship. It might even be a family dynamic because here I'm seeing the family card, right? So this may have to do with your family. And this is like the equivalent of the Four of Pentacles um, of somebody... Um, Four of Pentacles is, is, is a card, is an energy of somebody holding back, um, not wanting to give anymore. And we did see that there's um, a card here about not giving of your, of your emotion, all right? Of you holding back your emotion. So we still have that uh, message here again about somebody who maybe something happened to throw them off balance. And now they're holding back on their emotion right page of cups maybe the, an offer of friendship that you know came in that wasn't that didn't really take off okay so whoever this person is is you know like going through whatever this is because it's meant to happen i don't know what this like what exactly is this it's eight of swords which is like the restriction um, card, and this is um, instinct. You've been able to use your instinct. This reading is, let me pull another. I need to understand. This happened like earlier on when, I, okay, so I do have a card that is facing up, I think. All right, let's take it. It's the page of cups. So we do have the page of cups twice. The first one in reverse. Now it's coming up upright. So somebody is moving from um, refusing a friendship 
to accepting a friendship. Okay? Maybe it's a family situation that you're needing to balance this, um, the dynamic in your family. Maybe there's something going on that maybe there might be a new beginning for some of you with your family and friends or, you know, like, I'm thinking maybe your, your people that are really close to you. So there's some level of holding back that happened as a result of whatever happened in the past. But that energy is going to be, is, it's been, whatever happened has led you to a place of, you know, like lack of generosity and you holding back and you not wanting to give any more. And, you know, like this being a part of, you know, like the way it's meant to be and holding back. So what is it about holding back? Yeah, I do have three cards that came out. I have the four of pentacles, I have seven of pentacles, and I have page of wands. So this four of pentacles is the same thing here. So this is a repeat card. Okay. This is repeat. So which means you have four, four. And you also got the page of cups twice. So whatever this message here is, it's very, very important for somebody. And that's around a friendship that ended that may have another chance to be revived. Okay, so maybe you want to pay attention to that and not completely write that person off depending on whatever happened here. Um, and it might be your family. It might be somebody who's very close to you. Um, it might be regarding... I don't know why I'm picking this up. It might be regarding maybe a mortgage. Maybe somebody, some of you lost the opportunity of securing a mortgage for your home or closing out a loan. And um, the opportunity looks like it's coming back around. All right. So where there was lack of generosity, maybe now there will be love. There will be a give, there will be, you know, fulfillment. I haven't seen the Ten of Cups anywhere here yet or um, Nine of um, Coins or Ten of Pentacles. So what else do we need to know? So this is the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody who actually put in a lot of effort into something and waiting for this thing to materialize, waiting for it to grow, waiting for it to bear fruit. Whatever this is, maybe your loan application for some of you is what I'm picking up. So it looks like you've maybe provided all the paperwork that that is needed you've done all the the pre preliminary submission maybe this might be a contract for some of you but it looks like where there was rejection there's not going to be acceptance all right and somebody will be able to come out on top as a, as you know like a leadership position or a leadership role or a leadership person um i think this whatever this um opportunity is that is coming in is going to turn that person's life around um is going to transform that person you know to somebody who is going to be in the public eye who will be very passionate and creative somebody who will be like a, maybe a father figure who's well grounded in in their um communication might be a, a communicator this might be somebody who works in you know like communication field um but whatever it is this is a page of wands so you do have page and king. So obviously you're start, you're gonna end up as a king of wands, but it looks like whatever this offer is that is coming in, um, whatever it is that that happened in the past that you lost, you you kind of lost out, all right? That you thought maybe you had this in the back, but it didn't it didn't work out the way you planned. So it looks like it's gonna be coming to fruition now. So I'm gonna pull um, Archangel Michael Oracle cards just to close this out, all right? Let's see. So whatever this is, I think maybe some of you may need some kind of um, maybe prayers or guidance or um, in case maybe you've applied for like uh, an apartment or a mortgage or a loan. So at the bottom, it says focus upon your upon divine and perfect health. Um, okay, so let me shuffle and see. Yeah, Michael, what do we have? What message do we have to um, communicate regarding this situation which I have a lot but I'm not going to take all of it all right so let's tell us what it is that what is the advice coming out of this reading for whoever this person is that is struggling and that needed this information maybe they've lost hope about whatever it is this um 
opportunity that kind of slipped past their hands or slipped through their hands. It's saying it's time to leave the unhealthy situation. Okay? It's time to leave the unhealthy situation. And it's saying um, your prayer that you should focus on, that you should say is what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So some of you may have made some kind of change. Maybe whatever happened in this situation where you thought was stable, that later became unstable, that you kind of lost out on an opportunity that um, is obviously going to be coming around, which had you kind of skeptical and holding back and not sure um, about whatever the situation is. Um, they're telling you to leave whatever unhealthy situation that might be related to this um, situation, this particular circumstance, whatever is unhealthy, that for you to leave it in the past, leave it and move on. Get out of the, you know, like any unhealthiness that is... This is really not bad, a bad reading. I'm sure somebody maybe needed to hear this message. Okay. So we do have positive thoughts, create positive results. So whoever this is, it looks like maybe you've been really um, down. You've been you've been feeling very, very, you may be left out and um, hopeless and um, maybe not sure in this situation. But you're being asked to put out positive thoughts, all right? Create positive results. And your prayer says, divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation, guys. All right. I hope somebody got the message from this. Um, looks like whatever the situation was, that you would have another opportunity for you to make it happen. All right. I wish you all the best.